Hi and welcome to Le Studio Marco Primo. Today we're checking out to make a good guitar tone, miking a cab with one and two mics. And even if you don't know anything about phase, let's see how we can do it. So of course, to get the best guitar tone, you need a good guitar, well adjusted, easy to play, something you like to play, and also, of course, your guitar cab, and just sit in the room, turn the knobs until you have a sound that you like. That's the first thing. If your amp sound good in the room, you're halfway there. So after that, some mics, some placement tests, and just go around and find the best sound. The classic mic that everyone start with is the Shure SM57. Um, the reason is its EQ curve just make the electric guitar sound good. Um, there's some great mids, a bit of low end, and the high frequencies aren't too aggressive, um, so your ears won't bleed right away if you put that mic on front of a guitar cap. After that, it depends on the amp. If it sounds very brittle, very high frequency driven, then you can choose a ribbon mic or a mic that will tame those high frequencies, like a U47 inspired mic. There's a few on the market, either clones or inspired of. Uh, the capsule RK47 has been sold a lot, so you can find a lot of mics that uh, will give you a curve that um, reproduce a bit less of the high frequencies. But for this amp that I'm testing, there's not a lot of high frequencies already. So I took my Shure KSM32. It's not a great mic, but for electric guitar, it does a great job. The first test that I will do is put the mics in front of the mic, play a loop via a reamp box from my computer, and then move the mics away from the cab. And I'm gonna go too far away, but what I want to show is if you change just a tiny bit of the distance between the mics and the cab, the relationship between those two mics and the distance will change the sound. And most professional will talk about phase, and I won't do that in this video, I just want you to focus on the sound. So if you um, put the mics too far away from each other, uh, depending on the distance, maybe you'll get more high frequencies and a cancellation of the low end. And so let's not wait, just listen to it.
In this second test, I will keep the mics closer to the amp and try some angles as well. Uh, we all know that the center of a speaker, the, the, of the cone, will give you more high frequencies and then it will be rounder if you just turn the microphone to the edge of the speaker. So, let's hear it. All right, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the like button, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications. If you want to support the channel, buy some merch. The link is in the description. Of course, put any questions in the comments if you liked it or not, if you have some suggestions for future videos as well in the comments and share my videos, it's always a great help.